Hello everybody. Today I'm sharing my airplane and cruise carry-on bag. These are the 2022 essentials that you need whenever you're boarding an airplane for your cruise ship embarkation day. If you're new here, I'm Kathy. I'm 53 years old and I love to cruise and I just got back from a 10-day Caribbean cruise which was absolutely wonderful. So before I unpack my carry-on bag, I thought I would give you a tour of what all I packed and the essentials that I think you need for your carry-on for an airplane and cruise embarkation day. Before I get into the contents of my bag, I do have two bonus tips for you, so be sure to stick around to the end. So the bag that I used is my Neverfull by Louis Vuitton. It is the MM size. I love this size of a carry-on bag for on the airplane because there are some essentials that I will need throughout the flight and you know whenever you get on the ship you don't automatically get your luggage so these are some of the things that i need when i first get on the ship so this is what it looks like i always put a scarf on top and i always make sure to do up the clasp because if i'm using a bag without a zipper i just want my stuff that is in there secure so it doesn't fall out but also so nobody going by can just you know reach in and grab things so I have my Louis Vuitton scarf and I always, always carry my iPad. I always take my iPad with me. Even though I have my iPhone, I like the iPad for in the evening. I can load our photos onto it and you know, we can just look and kind of reminisce about what we saw that day. And I also carry this lightning SD card adapter. You plug your camera memory card into this end. This end goes into the iPad. You plug it in the bottom of the iPad like that. And then you can just load your photos onto your iPad. The next thing that I always carry with me is my makeup. This is not a real one. I found this on Amazon. But I don't like to put this in my check suitcase just in case things end up getting broke. And I have a separate video that you can go watch where I show you everything that is in my makeup bag. I also carry my Bose headphones. These are wired. I'm not certain if you can use wireless headphones. So if you know, please let us know in the comments. Maybe it differs on every airline. But I wore these. I downloaded a few episodes of The Real Housewives so I could watch them on the plane. And it was a good thing I did because the plane that we flew to Fort Lauderdale was like a really old crappy one and it didn't even have a screen in front so i'm glad that i at least you know had a few episodes on my ipad that i could watch now i had forgot before i went to put a battery in my headphones these are noise canceling so i was sitting like pretty much beside the um engine of the plane not on the wing but in the plane and uh, I, I still could hear some of the rumble. So I imagine if I would have remembered to put the battery in, I wouldn't have heard any background noise. But these are great headphones. I also use them at home whenever I'm editing my videos because I don't want to hear any background noise when I'm editing. And then I always carry my jewelry. Now I don't take expensive jewelry with me. I just take some, you know, costume jewelry pieces. I just bought this on Amazon. It's pretty small, like I don't take a lot of jewelry. And yeah, my necklaces and that are still, my necklaces are still in it. It has this little, um, there's this little pocket where you can, you know, stick the necklace down so it doesn't get tangled up. And then these are for earrings, but I didn't take any earrings because my ears are still healing from getting pierced. And there's a place here where you can put your uh, bracelets. And then, you know, if you have any rings or if you have more earrings, you can put them in here. I think this is available in different colors. I just like blue. I liked the size and this is a perfect size for me. And then of course I have my camera. I lost my camera case, so I'm terrible. I just throw it in my bag. I've had this camera for a while. This is a camera that I use whenever I vlog. It's a great little camera. It's the Canon G7X. I think it's the Mark II. I'm not sure if there's a new one. If there is, I wanna update it. But it takes really nice pictures. I always carry Purell in my carry-on bag, even though I also always carry it in my purse. And I do carry my crossbody purse that I use for travel. 
It is perfect and I always carry my passports in my purse. They never ever leave my body. Even when I'm going through security and you have to put everything on the belt to go through, my passport stays in my hand. Nobody is taking that from me it, because it would be a real disaster if you ever lost your passport. And then this is all of our paperwork. Uh, we have our plane tickets. We have our negative COVID test papers in here, insurance papers, cruise documents, shore excursions documents. I always print off a paper copy, even though I have a digital copy on my phone. Sometimes, you know, you may get somewhere and the Wi-Fi is no good. So it's nice to have a paper copy. And I just buy these little plastic uh, file folders. They just zip across the top like a Ziploc bag. They are perfect for travel, come in lots of different colors. And then that is it. Like I don't carry any more than I have to in my carry-on bag because it's hard enough getting around airports. I really just carry valuables, uh, any you know medication that would go in my crossbody purse. Um, buddy! Medication would go in my crossbody purse. I have two additional tips for you before I go. The first thing is, I recently found out that, you know when you um, fly, you get like a, a tape that they put on your suitcase and it has a barcode on it. I always take those off of my suitcase and I bring them home with me and I shred them at home because the code that is on there, people can scan the code and then they have access to all of your private information because airlines store everything in that barcode. They have your name, your address, your passport number, probably credit card information that you booked your flight with. So for the cruise, for the plane, I always, I don't throw that in a public garbage. I bring it home and I shred it so that now I know I don't have to worry about it. The second tip that I have for you, if you are flying and say you are flying alone, you don't have somebody that can watch your bags if you have to get up to stretch your legs or use the washroom, I would always take my valuables with me if I'm traveling alone because just because you're on your, a plane, don't let your guard down. There are thieves everywhere. But even say I'm traveling with my husband you know, he's asleep, I will take my purse with our passports in to the lavatory so I don't have to worry about somebody grabbing them. Because even if you're only gone for two, three minutes, you know, there's bad people everywhere, uh, crime happens everywhere. So those are just tips that I have picked up uh, through my various travels throughout the year. So I hope you enjoyed taking a peek at seeing my airplane and cruise embarkation day essentials. And if you have any essentials that you carry in your bag that I didn't show, please let us know in the comments. And if you're new here, I hope that you will consider subscribing. I love to travel. I plan on doing some travel vlogs. I think I have another trip coming up in a couple of months that I'm excited about finalizing things and then I can let you know. But I do have a cruise playlist that you can check out. I will link it below and I will also put a card up above. You can watch the... Um, the vlog of the cruise ports that we did on this cruise as well as the outfits that I wore. So thanks so much for spending time with me today and I will see you soon. Bye!